Let's say that R1 is smaller than R2. So it's R1 and this other loop of radius R2. And they carry currents I1 and I2. So let's say this carries current I1. The other one carries current I2. Now, we're told that the magnetic field, if the magnetic field at the center is zero, so at the center we know that the magnetic field is zero, what can you say about the magnitudes and directions of I1 and I2? Now, so I, I drew the direction of I1, but I didn't draw the direction of I2. Because now, I2, we have to be careful. It could be counterclockwise or clockwise. So which one should we choose? Now, I1 produces a magnetic field by the right-hand rule. What is the magnetic field at the center produced by I1? Since it's counterclockwise, it's out of the page. So the magnetic field here is out of the page as produced by I1. How about as produced by I2? If I2 is also counterclockwise, it will also produce a magnetic field at the center, which is out of the page. And then the two fields, since if both of them are out of the page, they cannot add up to zero. So the only way to add up to zero is if I put the current here clockwise. If I put it clockwise, then by, by the right-hand rule, I2 will produce a magnetic field into the page. And I1, a field out of the page. So now, if they have the same magnitude, the two fields, then they will add up to zero. Because they will have opposite directions and the same magnitude. So we deduce that if I1 is counterclockwise, then I2 must be clockwise, and vice versa. If I1 is clockwise, then I2 must be counterclockwise. So the two currents go in different directions. It has to be so if the magnetic field is zero at the center. But now what else? What also about the magnitudes of I1 and I2? Now, we have the magnetic field produced by the first current, I1, is mu zero, I1, over 2R1, and it's out of the page. V2, so out of the page, the text of the magnet. V2 is mu0 I2 over 2R2, and it's into the page. Oh, this is, this is, sorry, this is, into, this is, yeah, I1 is out of the page, so it's like this. And I2 is into the page, so it's like that. OK. Now, if the magnetic field is 0 at the center, then those two magnitudes must be the same. So then it means that mu zero i1 over 2r1 is mu zero i2 over 2r2. So mu zero over 2 cancels. This means that i2 over r2 is i1 over r1. So i2 is i1 r2 so this is the connection between them. So if the magnetic field is 0, then I2, if I know I1 and I know R1 and R2, that fixes both the magnitude and direction of I2. Now, 